Hi, my name is Daniel Grosen and I'm from appmembersite.com and in this video I'll just show you how I normally would configure wishlist member uh, for my membership site. So if you want more videos about setting up membership sites, go to appmembersite.com slash free and get more tutorials about how to install uh, wishlist, optimize press, WordPress and all different kind of information that is necessary whenever you're configuring membership sites. So before we get started, make sure you have hosted, make sure you have installed WordPress, make sure you have installed wishlist member and you can find it using this link. And if you sign up at appmembersite.com slash free, you can find a lot of these uh, tutorials there. So let's show it much easier. So here I have the page I've just installed and just activated the, the license. And the nice thing about it is it has a setting here, at setting tab. And then there's actually just a setup visit. Normally this will pop up first time you, you call it. Uh, has no membership level. So create a membership level. So I would not normally just have one membership level. Member. And that's okay. Assign pages, uh, non-member paper pages, cancellation page. Uh, it's okay. I don't I haven't created any, so so it will be a good thing if they created it for me. Protecting settings, automatically post. Uh, this I would. Uh, Deselect because otherwise uh, um, all the pages that you have created already will be, be uh, private. Uh, high turn show protection on. Uh, this I guess depend on on what you want to achieve with it. So this will be okay. Membership redirect pages. What to see the first page they when they've logged in. Uh, after registering and see the first page when they have registered. And this is okay that it's creating it. And then it will go create all these uh, pages that it has set up. And if you go to the pages now, you can see all these uh, pages that has been created. Uh, terms, thanks for joining. And if we review this one. Thanks for joining, and it has some some my side info. So we have to go through all of these. Since I'm using uh, Optimized Press for this, I'll also have to go in on all these pages and ch change them. Um, I guess this will make a good thing to to make it as a membership content and plug in all of these, and then general options show header and probably that may be it let's try to see what that looks like and then i do like the the, the function just clicking and select open a new window and we can see what it comes so now it definitely looks a lot better we we i haven't configured the membership area yet for, for this but now we can definitely see it is changed and uh, there's some information we need to to place links in in this uh, area here so that was actually how fast it is to create all the the required pages in uh, wish list um, some other settings of import as well we have this uh, members who don't have any members yet uh, but in the members level here we can see we have this uh, 
member level here and we have the URL that this user needs to to use whenever it's uh, creating and we can say what it should go to uh, if we want to, this to, to act in a different way so this was uh, actually how easy it is to, to set up uh, content obviously we need to do a lot of configuration for all these pages created uh, but when we have done that it's quite simple otherwise we can see more content here uh, more settings registration page uh, I guess which one it is for for which one what what do we need of, of different information on these uh, sections here um then the the last thing is who what kind of what f for uh, as a member what post uh pages should be protected for that so we can say that this membership level can get access uh, to all these things one thing we need to make sure when we have done this is open incognito or private browsing and go to the page. This will make sure we don't have any credential of being logged in or something like that. Else. And right. then we can see we just get the normal starting page and that was just what we wanted to, to do. Uh, because, well, if we protected all the different pages we already had, then it will give some, some problems uh, because our sales page will not work uh, at the moment and we want that so please go into to the the, the private incognito mode what whatever browser you have and and select that and test that it's looking as expected so uh, thanks for for watching and uh, be sure to to check out uh, more videos at uh, at membersite.com slash free about how you can set up the the billing and things like that so until we meet again goodbye